shout it loud, hallelujah. As many people as want the power of God in their lives tonight, let them shout it loud, yes, hallelujah. Raise up your two hands to the Lord as you sing this song loud and clear. Alleluia.
Please let there be silence now. When it's time for you to say amen, I will let you know. And that time it will be a sevenfold amen. There are people here tonight who have been saying, When will my deliverance come? There are people here tonight who have been mocked, even by members of their own household, saying, Let us see what your God shall do. There are people here tonight who have spent a lot of money on drugs that have not worked. There are people here tonight that if the monies that have passed through their hand have stayed, they will have been multi-billionaires. But the enemy dug a hole, swallowing everything. There are people here tonight that are tired of being tired, they are sick of being sick. There are people here tonight who have the tokens of darkness inside the body although they do not realize it the token is there father i stand there and i decree by the decree of heavens by the power of the prophets by the power that separated the red sea by the power that pulled the world of jericho down by the power that disgraced goliath herod and pharaoh that anyone standing here or connecting to us that there is something hidden in the body that the enemy is using as a ladder of darkness to cause trouble. That thing where you are, hear the word of the Lord. That place you are, it's not your habitation. You are a robber, you are a thief. You are not supposed to be there. So I address you in the name of the Lord. Begin to pack everything that belongs to you and begin to depart. In the name of Jesus, depart, 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 depart. Depart, 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 in the name of Jesus. I've been hiding for years and tormenting God's people. Now, right there where you are, lose your hold now. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. Every plantation of darkness in the reproductive organ, every plantation of darkness in the legs, every satanic swelling of the legs, every arrow of darkness in the heart, go back to your senders now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Makapota setela kaya boshande raba. Ribo sepia ni katende kea. Aha. Something is going on over there. Yes. It's a surgery. These prayers, I want you to pray. 
they are players of power. It will be dangerous to keep quiet. It will be dangerous to allow the voice of anybody to overshadow your voice. Sisters, you are the most affected in this prayer. But so you should pray it with boiling anger. Sisters here this evening, can you shout this after me? Any power that has accepted witchcraft for my sake. Can I hear the sister shouting that? <laughs> sister needs to shout this louder than that. Can I hear the brothers shouting the same thing? Everybody together now. What are you waiting for? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That is the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh huh, that's better. Every power pouring blood on the ground for my sake. Please pray this prayer well. Can I hear you shouting that again? What are you waiting for? The name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. This is why you are here. This is the school of power. It is dangerous to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. We were in Congo, Congo, Kinshasa. We were having a crusade by the side of the stadium. The people began to pray. It was a very serious prayer. Serious prayer. Right there on the praying ground, a sister was praying. She was praying because she did not understand her life anymore. I am praying for anyone here tonight that you don't even understand anything anymore. About what is going on. Your God shall arise and fight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the prayer point was very simple that day. Wickedness in my household. Da. Simple prayer. Simple prayer. And everybody was praying. And you should go and see those people praying, beloved. A girl was there praying. While the prayer was going on, we give them time to pray the prayer. A woman rushed into the meeting and went straight for the girl praying. I said, Stop, 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 stop the prayer. Stop the prayer. Uh -uh, stop the prayer. When she opened her eyes, it was her own mother who was not at the crusade. But when the prayer started, we're talking about the power of prayer. When the power started, and the prayer started and the power came. She felt it where she was. And ran quickly to the crusade ground. And told the girl to stop, stop, stop. Stop! Uh -uh. So look, don't pray that those who trouble you should die. Pray to recover what they have stolen from you. Say, because all your virtues, everything you will use to prosper, 
Ah, I put it inside the Bakongo. So what you should pray? The enemy is teaching. I want to pray. So what you should pray is that I want to recover my glory in the water. Not that the person who put it there should die. Notice that she did not mention anybody's name. I said, wickedness in my house. Die. They put the thing inside the Bakungo. What I'm trying to let you understand is this. You could pray here right now. And instantly as you are praying here, your virtues are being released from where it is. But if you are uncomfortable with this prayer point, I suggest you keep quiet. All eyes closed. Wickedness in my household! Do I liar? In the name of Jesus! Something is up there. Bakaten de Robo Satya. The ribos upon the Kaya Boshen. Deal with the wickedness. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Go on, 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 that's right. Go on, go on. Put in my effort. Amen. Uh huh. That's better. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards me at the altar here. Father, let the power to defeat mysterious infirmity fall upon these hands now. Let the power to disgrace every infirmity fall upon these hands now. Let the power to pull down the stronghold of darkness fall upon these hands now. In the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity in your body without any mercy, smite the place 21 fold while shouting fire. Let's go. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. If you cannot breathe well, breathe well. If you cannot walk, walk. If you cannot see, see. If you cannot hear, hear. Check your body now. Immediately you have been healed. Run quickly to this altar. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. It's serious infirmities that disappearing. Any sister here and you are having serious, painful menstruation. I'm going to count 10 from here. Smite your womb area massively. The arrow will go back to the center. You, that person whose kidney has been attacked, as I count 10, smite your tummy vigorously. And that will be the end of that problem. Get yourself ready now. 
One. Only those who are concerned. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Aha. Check your body now. Check that your womb area. And run quickly to this altar. Don't ever let the devil put it back. The Lord has healed somebody over there of a long term infirmity. Check it well. You are still checking it. Check it well. And find a way to this altar very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You, the spirit of poverty, represented by these multiple hands, plaguing this person over there. Lose your hold now. In the name of Jesus. Powers. Closing the gate of childbearing against this woman. You are a liar. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. I am going to count seven from here. The power of God is going to fall on three men and four women whose virtues have been padlocked to a tree in their father's company. And they will be instantly set free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. This is not a night to negotiate. That's right. Check your body again. Check your body again. Check your body again. Use that leg. Check that neck. Run quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. If you are that person, you brought a medical report by the powers that establishes the heavens and the earth. The evil report on that record has been cancelled. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this again loud and clear. Powers that are stolen the glory of my future. Is that the loudest you can shout this one? Your voice ought to be louder than this. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Somebody is recovering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blood sucking powers assigned to trouble my Israel. Suck your blood and die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Aha. There are three persons. Your neck feels as if there is a heavy luggage on your head. As I count from here, shake that head. And the luggage of the enemy will depart. And your neck will be free. And then find a way quickly to this altar. 
that the luggage of the enemy be removed. Shake that head now. One, two, shake it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. The heavy luggage has been taken off. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Voices from my foundation attacking my destiny. Can I hear you say that loud and clear? To In the name of Jesus. Voices from the foundation. Command those voices to die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sing this song of fire and power. Sing it from the bottom of your heart. Believe in the Lord. But as you are saying it, you are making a serious prayer. No way, oh, no way. No way, oh, no way. Evil Lord, I reject you. No way. Evil Lord, I reject you. No way. No way, oh, no way. upon your children here tonight educate our spirit by your power in Jesus name we pray have your seat beloved God bless you as we continue our school of power series this series has started to empower God's people to know that they have a power that the world cannot control 
Glory be to the name of Jesus. We continue to look at the perils of powerlessness. The perils of powerlessness. This is a very, very serious time in the life of all Christians. Like I said the last time, in school, they give you the lesson before the test. But life does not operate that way. Life will give you the test first before the lesson. May you not learn the hard way in the name of Jesus. This is part of why you need power now. Listen and listen to me well. Many of us are experts at blaming this, blaming that. Is the fault of this? Is the fault of that? Is the fault of that? Blame is always the defense of the powerless. It's powerlessness that makes you to be shifting blame. Because if you know where you have been attacked, and you have sufficient power to avenge what has been done. There is no use in blaming anybody. Unfortunately, our days have become the days when most ministers have become inspirational speakers and motivational speakers. We have become a generation of enticing words rather than signs and wonders. The present day church is spineless and powerless against the powers of darkness that are selling us every day. We don't want to queue up in that queue of powerlessness. Most of the present day preaching and most of the present day exhortation is weak and pointless. There may be plenty of exercise, but it is weak. Even if it was poison, it won't kill anybody. And we can't queue behind that. Even if it was medicine, it won't kill anybody. Most of the sermons are now being designed to entertain, and we must shake ourselves loose from this. The weapon of tears is a flow back of powerlessness. In the book of Acts chapter 19, Acts chapter 19, Acts chapter 19, I read from verse 11. Acts 19.11 If you are there, say yes. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchief or aprons. And the diseases departed from them. And the evil spirits went out of them. Then certain of the vagabond Jews exhausted took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. And there were seven sons of one skiver, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered, and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. But who are ye? Your name is not in the register of those we should respect. Your name has no recognition in heaven or hell. That's why I say, who are these people? Who are you? Everybody is talking to us. You two are talking. Who are you? And what happened in verse 16? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them. So that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. What happened to that fellow? Powerlessness. Powerlessness. When you are powerless, listen to me well. Demons overcome you with ease. You can see what happened here. A man overcame several men who were calling the name of Jesus. They said, ah. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? We don't know you here. We have the list of those we respect. My name is not on this list. I'm praying for somebody here that every spirit of powerlessness would depart from your soul in the name of Jesus. Get your amen, roar like thunder. One reason for our powerlessness because people have what we call the enemy within in 
internal demons. When you have an internal demon, whether you know about it or you don't know about it, it does not matter. But once you have the internal enemy, the internal demon, and now you are trying to address a stronghold outside, they will mock you. They will laugh at you. And say, look at this one. And look at this one. We are inside you. And you are commanding us to go. You better be careful. Better be very, very careful. And if the person is not careful, they will deal with the person. Like they dealt with that pastor who came to prayer in. He was normally a motivational speaker. Let somebody shout, hey, hey. Let somebody shout, hey, hey. That's what he was preaching. He came to prayer in. And he had me talking about eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. He took his pen and wrote down everything I said. He wrote down all the prayer points. When he got to the church on Sunday, instead of his normal sermon, which is, I tell you, you are going to the top. You will get to the top. Whether the devil likes it or not, you will get to the top. You will get to the top. You will get to the top. He now changed his sermon to dealing with eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. So his own amazement, the people were interested in what he was saying. And when he, when, he, when he began to call the prayer, he had written down from prayer city. Things began to happen. People were delivered and set free from the hands of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. He was happy. And he was planning to come again next Friday to take another note. But that Sunday night, as he slept on his bed, three dark creatures were standing by the side of the bed. And they woke him up. He said, you, you. What an insult. Your father is a member. Your mother is a member. We were the ones that didn't allow the witches to eat you when you were young. We are inside you. And you have the audacity to go and be talking against us. Bring out your whip. Bring out your whip. You bring out your whip. They started on the pastor. They thoroughly beat him and disciplined him. He was shouting and screaming. His wife tried to open the door. Although there was no key, no, nobody locked the door, but the wife could not open the door. When they allowed him to go, he said, forever, forever, lie, lie. I'm not going to preach this kind of message again. His problem was that the enemy that was inside of him, he was trying to overpower them outside. Whereas they're already inside. Many of us are fighting the problems outside. Not knowing that the enemy is already inside. Many of the bad, bad dreams, bad, bad dreams. The video machine playing the bad dream is already inside. And so you cannot overpower the outside when they, ins- when they are already inside. Anyone who will want to overcome demonic powers, you must deal with the enemy within. The sons of Skiva, they did not deal with the enemy within. They forgot the words of Jesus. Jesus said, how can Satan cast out Satan? It's not possible. And this is the trouble. So the place of tonight is going to be hooked on what the Bible says. That as soon as the heir of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their close places. When there is stranger in your life, you cannot command the demons. They will just not listen to you. They will mock at you or even beat you up. Some of you must have heard me sharing this. Many, many years ago, this is even before God started the mountain of fire. We were having a city-wide crusade. And they gave me a big post. They called me chief counselor. So we do counseling. So I, they called me chief counselor. Because anyone who had problems... It's me they will first of all see. So when they tell me what the problem is, and I'll tell them, go to boot number one, boot number two, boot number three, boot number four. So I will direct them which place to go. Inside the booth, there were counselors there, pastors, counselors. So, but when they describe something to me, and I listen to what they say, and I survey all the counselors I have, and I see that they cannot handle it, I try to deal with it myself. We were doing very well. 
until this half Indian, half Nigerian girl showed up. Beautiful girl, half Indian, half Nigerian. She now said, Pastor, there is a snake moving in the head. There is a snake moving in the womb. There is a snake moving in the leg. I want to be set free. So when I had snake moving head, snake moving head, I said, okay. I surveyed all my counselors. I didn't see anybody who could handle her. So I said, you sit down here. I will attend to you. So I began to talk to others. Where I was talking to others? One pastor just came. He said, excuse me. Why is she sitting down there? He said, I would like to counsel her after. He said, I can deal with it, sir. Let me counsel her. I said, okay. She took the girl away. And I continued my work. All of a sudden, as I walked, I had a terrible cry. Brethren! Brethren! Homo! Brethren! So all of us ran there. By the time we got there, the Indian girl was on the floor. Her skirt was out. And the pastor was now pulling down his own trouser. He was pulling down his own trouser. He wanted to start sleeping with her there. So the brothers were holding the pastor not to do it. And they could not overpower him. So that's why he shouted, Brethren! Brethren! Come on! It was a terrible situation. And the girl was just lying there on the floor. So like God, I said, get up in the name of Jesus. And then she got up. Here was a man who wanted to cast out evil spirits. But he himself has evil spirits. And so they overpowered him. Can you raise up your right hand? Powers! Assigned to overpower me. You are a liar! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus, then we pray. You see, those internal enemies, they bind our spiritual mouth. They, they anoint us. They reduce our spiritual fire. They block our deliverance. They reinforce spiritual stagnancy. They ensure spiritual limitation. They perfect failure. They encourage all the counter attack we're having. They are the ones who construct the hard yokes. They empower stronghold. They initiate satanic mockery. They break our spiritual edge. Suck our spiritual power. Blind our spiritual eyes. Invite external enemies. They dissolve good dreams and bring bad dreams. Then they fuel lust. It is a day of victory for you. The day you can sanitize your inner man. And the Bible says, No one enters into the house of the strong man and dispossess him of his goods without first of all binding the strong man. So no man can enter into the house of a strong man and plunder his goods. Said, but when a stronger man than him shall come, then it will bind him. This is what we want to do tonight. We want to invite the stronger than him to come upon us. Then when he comes, whatever is there will have to leave. But the strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places. The strangers will only fade away when a stronger than them comes inside. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. If you are here, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. By saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to pray this prayer in a song. Please, I beg you. Don't let anybody's words be louder than yours. Because you are inviting the power that establishes the heavens and the earth to enter your life. And there is no way that kind of power will enter you. And you say you don't know. You will know that something happened today. All eyes closed. Whatever language you know how to say. Very simple. It's very, very simple. Just the, the whole of this song is in four words. Just four words. So four words should not be too difficult for you to memorize and put in your head. And you begin to sing it. All eyes closed. The song says, Wa, 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 
emi mimo wa 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 alagbara wow 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 that's all come holy spirit come the powerful one come 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 let your voice roar like thunder let your clapping roar like thunder this is not a night to negotiate there must be a hurricane and volcanic power of god entering into your life let your clapping be the loudest here let your voice be the loudest here Wow, 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 me, me, ma. Wow, 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 la, la, la. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 me, me, ma. And la, la, la. Amen. With whatever volume you are singing now, whatever clapping you are clapping now, I want you to double it. Because already I could see the cloud of that power coming. But it's yet to hit this place. When it hits this place, I will know, you will know. Are you ready now? Wah, 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 me, me, ma. Wah, 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 la, la, la. Yes, the strangers shall be afraid and they shall flee out of their hidden places. Fire!
The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his mercy shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Your going and our coming out shall be blessings. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. In Jesus' name. We continue the school of power again next Wednesday. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Shout it loud, hallelujah. A Jericho destroyed, hallelujah. Let's try to fit as we enter into the school of power for tonight. And I want you to believe God for his wonderful touch upon your life as you gather here tonight. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Let me see you, Daddy. Jehovah, touch my life, Arana. Jehovah, touch my life, Arana. He makes the weapons aware. Jehovah has the final say. One more time. Who has the final say? Jehovah does my life around Jehovah does my life 
arriba, aleluya. Pues, 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 pues. I am moving forward For the Lord is on the throne I am moving forward I am moving forward I am moving forward Hallelujah I am moving forward I am moving forward Hush, 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 hush For the Lord is on the throne I am moving forward I am moving forward I am moving forward Hallelujah I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Nobody can stop me. I am moving forward. I 
focus your attention on Jesus where you are. This is a school of power and the Lord is set to demonstrate his power on as many life as are gathered there or connected to us. Please don't say anything now. Just keep quiet. When I want you to talk, I will tell you what to say. Father, I'm praying for all those who are here tonight. And there is a particular problem the enemy wants to use to suffocate their faith. You the faith suffocating problems. Hear the word of the Lord. That place where you are is not your habitation. You have entered the wrong house. So whatever covenant has kept you in that life, whatever covenant anyone here has formed with any regular constant problems, my potter said, tell you, the caribou katenda. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, let those covenants begin to break now. One, two, the one with the waters, break. The one with the familiar spirit, break. The one with the spirit of death and hell, break. The one with poverty, break. The one with domestic wickedness. The one with stubborn spirit husband. Break, break, break. Father, I pray for anyone here and as a strong man of your father's house that has refused to let you go. Whatever chain the strong man is using to hold you down. Jesus. That's the fire of God. That's the fire of God. Silence. I'm going to come seven from here. And the mysterious and volcanic power of God will fall upon 25 persons. 
I'm beginning from this very night. Your miracles that have been delayed, the delay will terminate. As I count seven from here. You may not be able to stand on your feet, but don't worry. But right there on the floor where you are, the great physician will continue his surgery. No matter where you are, my potter, Lee Katenda, Father, all those who are here, and the enemy is detaining a miracle, detaining your breakthroughs, detaining your testimonies. My potter, Lee Katea, let the chain tying those people down, be broken completely now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. The chain of stagnancy must be broken. 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 Silence. Silence. Look at what is happening. Silence. Silence. There are three women here. Begin to count the date as from this very moment. Right there before you, your womb inside a plate is being brought back to you. It has been stolen from you. But right now, the thief has no option but to bring it back. Something has happened over there. That's the first person. Yes, it's already on the floor. That's the second person. That's the third person. I'm going to count another seven from here. This is the power of God in operation. If you are here, you're a business person. And your business is not moving. The power to get wealth is about to fall upon your hands now. I'm going to count seven from here. As hard as you can do it, give a seven-fold clap offering. Several hot ones. Until that hand is even hot to you. Seven hot ones. And beginning from today, those things that are not selling, they begin to sell. Where the doors are blocked, the door shall open. Amen. How many times did I ask you to do It's only seven, no. Do the seven well. One. It's not violent enough. One. The chain in the hand is broken. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Thou power of profit starvation. Release that brother. Release that sister. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Three prayers I want you to pray. The purpose of this prayer is to draw power into your life. You can see that people who have been coming to this school of power have started demonstrating that power. From the testimonies you have had tonight, you can see that sister demonstrating the power of God by cutting that serpent to fall. This snake made a holy mistake and it was cut into fall by a sister. You can see that of another sister speaking straight to the fire. That is what we have been trying to teach here. You can speak to animate and inanimate objects. And they have no option but to obey you. These four prayers are prayers that draws power into people's life. Please pray it the way you've never prayed before. Holy God! Ignite my soul with fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Ignite my soul with fire. 
ignite my soul with fire. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh huh. Lay your hands on your chest now. Say, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Make me your battle axe in the name of Jesus. Bapote se tende ke yabo shente Rimo se ponde ke yaba In Jesus name we pray Sisters are you here? Are the sisters here? All sisters Who want to be a terror to darkness Should shout this after me Power That terrifies darkness can I hear you shouting this loud? There is a sister who needs to shout this louder than that. This sister is still not shouting it. Let me hear the brothers roaring like thunder. Everybody together now. Fall upon me now. In the name. Jesus. Oh yes. Receive it. 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 My partner said to let me have a chance. But tender me have a chance. Rimasa para ni katenda ka. In Jesus' name we pray. There's a sister here. What a pity. They have cheated you. They have robbed you. They have taken so many things away from you. And there are three witches in charge of your case. I have a strange word from the Lord to you. You, that sister. The Lord said, I should tell you that fear not. You shall bury all the three of them. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. The prayer will begin to manifest as from tonight. Um, before Sunday some will see the glorious effect of that prayer stretch your right hand towards this altar and when I pray this prayer just shout a sevenfold amen to the prayer Father thank you for your children here your word tells us that you are the one who giveth to get wealth there is a power to get wealth that power to get wealth as many hands as are stretched here now receive it in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' name. Have your God bless you. And listen carefully. Very carefully. The perils of powerlessness. The perils of 
powerlessness. Remember, this meeting is a school of power. And I'm believing God that there is no one who has come for this program who will go on with a plastic experience. Mark chapter 9, verse 14. The perils of powerlessness. The perils of powerlessness. Mark chapter 9. I read from verse 17. Mark chapter 9, verse 17. Are we there? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever it taketh him, it teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth his teeth, and pineth away. And I speak to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. They could not. They were powerless. He answered and answered him and said, "O oh, faithless generation," meaning that without that faith, there is no power. O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. Let me ask you a question. Those of you who have read that passage. This comment of Jesus here, was it a happy comment? Yes or no? No, Jesus was not happy. Not happy at all. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, he stretched away the spirit to him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And Jesus asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child. And oftentimes that cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus now said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe all things, how many things, beloved? How many things are possible to him that believe it? And straight away the father of the child cried out and said with us, Lord, I believe, help them my unbelief. When Jesus saw them saw the people come running together, he rebuked the foul spirit and said unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. I too, I decree upon somebody here, thou affliction and tormenting spirit, I charge thee, come out of this person and enter no more, and enter no more. In the name of Jesus. What happened? And the spirit cried and lent him saw and came out of him and was as one dead. In so much many said, He's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. And when he was coming to the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, this kind can comfort by nothing but by prayer and fast. In this short passage you've read, it has brought out three keys of power. Faith, prayer, fast. Faith, prayer, fast. In this passage, we see the result of spiritual powerlessness. The result was embarrassment, frustration, disgrace. That's the result. We see the result for the sufferer. He was helpless. He was disappointed. It was an embarrassment to heaven. That is, 
When you are powerless, the people that heaven has attached their deliverance to you, they will die in their problems because the deliverance is assigned to you, but you didn't do it. And it's a very, very serious matter. Serious matter. Many of us who are here, we have been born again for five years, ten years. The first house fellowship in your area started in your house. You are the one sweeping the place. You have belong there. I was there when they started. I was there when they did this. I was there when they did that. Story, story, story. Once upon a time, 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 time. Without power, it's an empty story. Many of us here, look, up, look at you. You have been born again for years. What explanation do you want to give to everyone? That those whose deliverance and salvation is attached to you, you did nothing because you were too powerless to assist them. You can see the result for the sufferer pain, disappointment, helplessness, the result of powerlessness. I know I've shared this before, but I'm not tired of sharing it. Because it's one of those things that make people like us happy. It makes us happy. In fact, that day was one of my best days as a minister. Who was here? We have not built up all this place like that. Just auditorium A. And my small counseling room at the back. And there was big noise by the door. We must see that's your general basia. We just have to see him. They were making noise. But they say you have no appointment, you have no decision. No. No. I was very appointment my foot. I must see him. If you don't allow to see him, we shall burn down this place. Ah. When I heard we shall burn down this place. And I knew how long it cost us to find one twenty thousand naira to buy the land. Let them in, let them, let them in. They came in. Three men. I said, sir, what can I do to help you? I said, are you the general officer? I said, yes, by the grace of God. I said, well, uh, I'm actually not expecting somebody as young as this, but anyway, we have come here to report one member of your church. He's a tenant in our house. He moved in six months ago. I said, sir, since this man moved into our house, it is very sad that nobody in the house has been able to attend a witchcraft meeting. I said, ah, witchcraft meeting. I said, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are you saying you are witches? They said, oh, yes. That's what we're saying. So I listened more. He said, because at 12 midnight, this man will start praying some prayer and be speaking some strange languages. The whole of the environment will be filled with fire. Then some giant looking people will be, will be there standing nobody could go out I said, ah. he said as he was speaking to me that his wife is on the sick bed because they disciplined her from witchcraft open because she did not attend the meeting and is this man that caused it ah. I said excuse me I pinched myself to convince myself that I was not seeing a vision he said excuse me uh, is he very rude? Or is he insulting in any way? They say, no, sir. Perfect gentleman. But immediately it is 12 midnight. Problem starts. So, I wanted to ask more questions. They said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We have no time for your question. This is the money that he has paid for three years. We have not touched one cup out of it. Please, give him his money. And ask him to leave our house. So that's all. Beloved, I was very happy. That which that brother was demonstrating in that place is what we call power. Power. If he did not overpower them, they will overpower him. If they don't overpower him, they could overpower his wife, they could overpower his children, they could overpower his business. The could overpower his career. I'm praying for somebody here. Every power overpowering your career, overpowering your family, overpowering your business. I kill them now in the name of Jesus.
Turn to somebody. This is serious. Look at the person straight in your eye. Tell my friend, do you want to remain powerless? Oh. Look at the person again. Say the same thing. Ask the same question. What explanation do you want to give to heaven? You want to say you don't know about the baptism of the Holy Spirit? You want to know you, you want to say you've never heard of prayer and fasting? Or you want to say you didn't know that the more you consecrate your life, the more powerful you become. And the more you live in your sin and you pollute your life, the, the less powerful you become. Every episode of fornication removes anointing and power from your life. And the demons know you are powerless. Why did those demons just didn't listen to the apostles? That took Jesus out. Look at this one. John too is amongst them. John that used to get angry. It's among them. Look at this one. Judas. Holy chief. Oji. Barao. Look at this one. Come fast. That's what happened. They just ignored them. They just ignored them. That is what happens when you are spiritually powerless. Some children in a school, after the school sessions, they gather in a place we call SU meeting, scripture union you know meeting, to gather and sing and pray. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful. To know, praise the Lord who sing, praise the Lord. That's, those are the songs we yeah. used to sing at the SU meeting those days. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. They laugh at us a lot. But teachers, students, they laugh at us. You, as you, as you, as you. But something happened in this school that made them to respect those boys. There's a demonic tree in the school compound. And every week, all this chain chain of abalis, native doctors, they come to the school, they put chicken there, they put oil there, they always come to the school, and anytime they come, all the students, go, 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 emergency bell, go into your classroom, go, students, go into your classroom, they chase people back to the classroom. One day, the SU people, who used to gather, fire, fire, beyond the sky, I said, fire, fire. Say, brethren, we must cut that tree. Yes, must be cut. And these SU boys, aging from 14 downwards, 14 downwards. Some of us here are, are 70, we cannot try it below 14. Say, we must cut it. Say, yes, we must cut it. So they surrounded the tree. They surrounded the tree. And as they surrounded the tree, they said, we are able to go up and take that country. To possess her land from Jordan to the sea, though the giants may be on our way to Inda, God will surely give us victory. Glory, move on, righteous side, move on to the righteous side, move on to the righteous side of God. Hallelujah, brother, move on to the righteous side. They didn't get there and begin to sing. Satan, I don't want you now. I go show you pepe in Jesus' name. I go show you shake. I don't want you now. They didn't go there to warn Satan. They cut it. The first cutlass that landed on the tree, there was a scream. They didn't bother. They cut. Instead of the normal back of tree was blood. They cut it down and quickly ran back to their classes. Not too long. Those people, they knew that they are cut down the tree. The chief native doctor ran to the school compound. 
he put his hand in his head. He said, hey, hey, hey. He rushed to the principal's office. He said, oh God, principal, you are dead. You are finished. Which principal are you principally when they will cut our tree here? You are your family. You are finished. I said, it's not me. It's not me. It's those students. It's you. The principal was afraid. He said those boys. So where are they? Bring them out. I said, they announced. That's you. That's you people. Come, come on. You are the one who called the tree. Come out. And they came out. And the man said, you called the tree? Said, Seven days. Seven days. All of you are dying. And they looked at it and said, sir, it will appear as if you, you don't know the Bible. So the Bible says, we shall not die, but live to declare the words of God. The man hissed. So we shall see. Seventh day, the man who threatened the boys and his three assistants did not wake up, died. I'm praying for somebody here. Power to terrify the enemy. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, in the name of Jesus. The result for those who are powerless is terrible. The result for the sufferer, terrible. The result for the savior was anger and disappointment. The result for the observers that they think you are fake. They think you are fake. As many as are here. And you want the power of God in your life. It will show in the way you are going to pray these three prayers. Raise your right hand to the Lord where you are. I will not be a disgrace to heaven. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout it loud. Then we pray. Say, my Lord, hear the word of the Lord. Disappoint every tormentor in the name of Jesus. Disappoint every tormentor. Jesus, them we pray. Powers assigned to ridicule my destiny. The name of Jesus, my capote setendeya. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus, them we pray. Listen, sit down, beloved. Having the power of God in our life is our birthright as Christians. Because when there is power, there is no struggle anymore. You cannot survive in this terrible generation now without power. There was an elder in our church many years back. He went on leave to his village. The true charm on him. And instantly his body began to decay. That is an insult to your salvation. Somebody is throwing fetish power at you and body begins to get rotten. I've seen cases. A strange baby appeared to a woman in the dream. And before she could say Jesus is Lord, the strange baby started sucking her breast. By the time she woke up in real life, the breasts are double in size. Within a week, they say it's cancer. Within another week, she was dead. It's an insult to salvation. 
But when there is power, no struggle. Let them waste their time by coming to you. You will not only teach them a lesson, but waste them. We do not teach people that the enemy has no power. No. But what we teach people is this. Jesus said, I've given unto you power to tread upon serpents and serpents and over every power of the enemy. Every power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies touch you. There is what is known as power of the enemy. And there is power of God to overcome them. We have some power drawing prayers to pray. Because of the nature of those prayers, we want to go into some warfare sinking session. Before we now go into those prayers, rise to your feet now. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you because you are the victorious one. We thank you for your name which is above all names. Thank you because you are a great God and you do great and marvelous things. Father, I pray for all your children who are gathered there. The power that cannot be ridiculed. Power that cannot be reproached. Power that cannot be ridiculed. Power that cannot be reproached. Let it come upon your children in the name of Jesus. Let it come upon them in the name of Jesus. The kind of power that will make you possess all your possessions. That will make you recover everything that has been stolen from you. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness to stagnate the destiny of anyone here. I bury that agenda in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As we are going to start singing these songs, you will sing violently. And don't forget that this coming palm of changes is deliverance from certificate bewitchment. Career certificate, educational certificate, business certificate, marriage certificate. That's what the Bible machine is all about. We're going to sing these warfare songs for the next few minutes before we now go into this power drawing prayers. Shout hallelujah!
Jimmy Foster. is not a time to joke. It's a time to pray the prayers that will draw power into your life. If you pray this prayer and you lose your voice but you get the power, then you have made a good bargain. But if you keep quiet, it should be very sad. Can you say, my father, give me a personal Pentecost. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and cry out for a personal Pentecost.
Jesus name we pray well done but try other say my father give me fire to fight in the name of Jesus fire to fight Open your mouth, open your mouth. Receive the fire out of fight, fire out of fight. In Jesus' name we pray. Power that cannot be ridiculed. Come upon me now, in the name of Jesus. Come upon me now, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your liquid fire fall upon these hands. Let this hand become the hands of healing, the hands of breakthrough, the hands of deliverance and power. In the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity in your body, smite it 21 times. Shout him fire. Let's go. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. I make His face to shine upon you. Any power that will want to attack you as a result of the prayers here tonight, I bury them now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. All the prayer requests that, oh Lord, answer them by fire. As from this moment. I speak unto your life that you should go and demonstrate the power of God in the name of Jesus. Let us share the grace and fellowship.